In a previous video, I showed how to set the Tiger uh, to calibrate it with ice beetling, but then set it up to measure for styrene. So say if you just had styrene only in an area you want it to measure. So we'd gone to, we'd use these up and down arrows to get to where there was a little cylinder of gas shown here. Hit the A button underneath that cylinder of gas and I, under S, so you could go through the alphabet here with these up and down keys, but under S we selected styrene, which has a response factor of 0.45. You can see I hit enter again, there was a little check mark that went in there. So let's put 100 ppm isobutyl on the uh, unit and let's see what it uh, shows. So again, this is 100 ppm isobutylene. Um, if uh, normally, if this was set to isobutylene and a response factor of one, it multiplies by one, so you get 100 ppm. But the response factor is 0.45. So you can see here where it, uh, so multiplying 100 by 0.45 gives you 45, basically. So we're pretty close here, right? The, um, so this kind of shows how the response factors work. So if I say if I didn't want to measure styrene, I want to measure something else, I would go back into that cylinder of gas. I'm just going to try to zoom in here a bit. And see, I'm looking for xylene, which is under X. Then I would go through and I would choose whatever xylene. Now when I'm done, like if, again, this is really powerful if you have one VOC present, you can go there, enter the response factor and read it directly. Now that, in some cases, you may be just looking to screen soil samples or water samples or air samples. So we use a response factor of one or just basically isobutylene because you're calibrating with isobutylene. Uh, so if you set this to isobutylene, it's a response factor of one. It's kind of called total VOC monitoring. So let me just exit out of here. If I go back to the cylinder of gas and under button A, I'll go back through to I, select I, go through and look for isobutylene. And see, this has a response factor of one as well, but I'm gonna, we're not using that uh, gas to calibrate. So I'm actually looking for isobutylene. Yeah, isobutylene response factor of one. I hit enter, which is the uh, arrow button with the side arrow button with the little on-off button, the little check mark goes in. Now I'm reading in uh, total VOCs, calibrated ice beetling. Let me put the ice beetling back on again. And I'll just put my hand over the, where we're getting those alarms. So there's a bit of an error in the gas, so also uh, a built-in error into the meter itself, but it should come pretty close to 100. take a second to get there. But you can see before we were measuring for styrene and we had a response factor of 0.45 so we ended up getting 45, right? Um, now we're back measuring isobutylene with a response factor of of 1 so we're you know we're, we're measuring correctly 100 ppm isobutylene and we're measuring close to 100 ppm on the meter. I'll take that off. One nice thing again is how quickly the PID responds to gases and rolls back down as well.